वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स इन वन मोर वीडियो ऑफ एल गी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट लाइफ साइकिल एंड ऑल्टरनेशन ऑफ जनरेशन इन एल गी बिफोर वी स्टार्ट और लेक्चर वी मस्ट नो द मीनिंग ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल और लाइफ हिस्ट्री दिस टर्म मे बी डिफाइंड एज द सम ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म एडेप्टेशन टू देयर सर्वाइवल एंड रिप्रोडक्शन which include physiological as well as ecological consideration the growth and development of an algae proceed through a number of different morphological and cytological stage and this sequential change is termed as life cycle or life history like many other organism algae life also begin with zygote which is a diploid cell resulting from a gametic fusion it may be of thick walled or thin walled thin walled zygote often germinate directly without undergoing any resting period whereas thick walled zygote generally have multilayered also known as zygospore or oospore it normally remain in dormant stage for a while before germination in both the cases of thin or thick walled zygote karyogamy and meiosis may take place in the zygote which on germination produces a haploid plant on the other hand if these processes become separated in time and space the zygote may remain a place only for karyogamy and its germination give rise to a diploid plant and meiosis will occur during sporogenesis the interpolation of a diploid somatic phase between karyogamy and meiosis probably make the individual more stable genetically as well as physiologically for their greater adaptability and survival to understand alternation of generation we must know that a life cycle has two aspect is the somatic or morphological and the second is cytological or chromosomal a generation is regarded as a somatic phase the alternation of generation refer to a situation in which a plant has two somatic phase the one the haploid or gametophytic phase the other is diploid or sporophytic phase both these stage regularly alternate during the life cycle based on both morphological and cytological consideration a life cycle may be known as haplontic diplontic isomorphic heteromorphic or triphasic life cycle the first is haplontic type life cycle the haplontic type include algae in which the somatic phase only is haploid and the diploid stage is restricted to the zygote such life cycle occur mainly in chlamydomonas oodogonia and chera and a haplontic life cycle start with gametophyte which produce gametangia and this gametangia will produce gametes these gametes may be isogametes or anisogametes after fertilization they will give rise to a diploid zygote immediately meiosis will occur in zygote to form meiospore and these meiospore will germinate and give rise to gametophyte during this phase zygote is the only stage where in the entire life cycle we can see a diploid condition on the other hand in the diplontic type the vegetative phase only is diploid and the haploid phase is restricted to the gametes only diplontic type is very common in fucus sargassum and many diatoms diplontic type life cycle start with a diploid sporophyte which produce a diploid gametangium after meiosis in that gametangium it may produce male gametes and female gametes which get fertilized to form a zygote which immediately germinate to form a sporophyte in entire this life cycle male gametes and female gametes are only haploid stage if gamete bearing gametophytic haploid plants and spore bearing diploid sporophytic plants in a life cycle are morphologically same such life cycle is known as isomorphic and if they are morphologically different they it is termed as heteromorphic type of life cycle common examples for isomorphic type life cycle are alva entromorpha cladophora dictyota ectocarpus whereas laminarians are the best example 
टू स्टडी हाइड्रोमोर्फिक टाइप ऑफ लाइफ साइकिल एन आइसोमोर्फिक टाइप लाइफ साइकिल स्टार्ट विद हैप्लोइड गैमिटोफाइट विच प्रोड्यूस मेल एंड फीमेल गैमिट एंड आफ्टर फर्टिलाइजेशन टू इट दे फॉर्म जाइगोट दैट जाइगोट विल डेवलप इन स्पोरोफाइट विच इज ए डिप्लोइड स्ट्रक्चर एंड म्यूसेस अकर इन स्पोरोफाइट टू फॉर्म हैप्लोइड म्यूस्पोर्स After germination of those myospores, it give, will give rise to a haploid gametophytic stage. On the other hand, heteromorphic type life cycles begin with morphologically different male gametophyte and female gametophyte. Male gametophyte produce male gametes, whereas female gametophyte produce female gametes. Male gametes and female gametes, after fertilization, forms diploid zygote. Which germinate and forms a diploid sporophytic stage. Meiosis occur in this sporophytic stage to form haploid meiospores, and these meiospores will germinate and give rise to morphologically different male gametophyte and female gametophyte. Triphasic life cycle. Most mammalian cells have a haplobiontic type life cycle, in which the haploid gametophytic phase. alternates with the haploid asexual carposporophytic phase the life cycle in this case is biphasic with two morphologically dissimilar but cytologically similar generation and the only diploid stage in the life cycle is constituted by the zygote itself it is start again with a haploid gametophyte which produce male and female gamete After fertilization of these gametes, they form zygote, and immediately meiosis occurs in zygote to form haploid carposporophyte. Carposporophyte will form carpospores, and carpospores germinate and give rise to chantrensia stage. Chantrensia stage finally will develop into gametophyte. Zygote is the only stage where we can see a diploid condition in many red algae like polysiphonia gracilaria the life cycle is triphasic involving a succession of three generation gametophytic carposporophytic and tetrasporophytic where a parasitic carposporophyte remain in between the gametophyte and sporophytic generation carposporophytes is a carpospore producing sporophyte consisting of a cluster of sterile cells and carposporangia which are born terminally on special filament which are known as gonioblast filament we will study all these structure in detail in red algae diplobiontic type life cycle start with morphologically different male gametophyte and female gametophyte male gametophyte produce spermatangium Whereas female gametophyte produce carpogonium, spermatangium develops sperm and carpogonium develops egg. Is the fertilization of the sperm and egg will result in a diploid zygote. Zygote develop into a diploid carposporophyte, and that carposporophyte will produce diploid carpospores. After germination of these carpospore. Tetrasporophytic stage occurs, which is again a diploid condition, and meiosis occur in tetrasporophyte to form haploid tetraspores, and those haploid tetraspores will germinate and give rise to again male gametophyte and female gametophyte. These gametophyte and tetrasporophyte are morphologically similar stage, whereas tetrasporophyte and carposporophyte are diploid stage. Many phycologists believe that the term alternation of generation is perhaps best to avoid in discussing algal life cycle, as there are many exceptions to an obligate alternation, such as many algal species are capable of reproducing one or both phase by means of asexual spore only, while other undergo pleomorphic sequence. Pleomorphic sequence are those. where algae are differ morphologically but they have same chromosome complement and this phenomena is known as pleomorphism the evolution of success of such heteromorphic 
or pleomorphic species had been attributed to the exploitation of different physiological capacities of different form for better adaptation it is also inappropriate to use this term for those member of red algae in which a secondary diploid carposporophytic phase is interplotted between the normal haploid diploid sequence gametic life cycle which characterize the animal kingdom and the oomycota are not common in the algae and appear to have arisen independently in various algal group somatic meiosis is even rarer and only reported in certain green algae and in some freshwater member of batrachospermales due to all such evidence many phycologists avoid to use term alternation of generation for algae we are also leaving this on you student to decide yourself whether you would like to use this term or not dear friends in this video we have discussed common life cycles and many other related terms in algae please leave your comments in comment box so that we can improve ourselves in future video in the next video we will discuss classification of algae till then like and share this video press the bell icon to subscribe my channel thank you for watching this video